Joining me now on Faces at Northern Exposure with me, the Gabby Cabby, at the Actress and Bishop in Birmingham, in the dungeon. We're in Louise's office. She's tap tapping away there. Hello, Scott from Lazy Eye. How, how are you, are you mate? I'm all right, mate. How are you? How's things? Good. Really good, yeah. Wet today. Yeah. It's a nice all week, on it? But you know what I mean? First impressions of Birmingham and welcome to Birmingham, young man. Yeah, they won't be first impressions of him. You were like <laughs> on the way. It was like that in Stoke. Traffic cones, <laughs> loads of traffic cones, traffic road cones works. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, a few wrong turns, but we got here in the end. And we have hooked up probably about three years ago, and I think it was our mate Moggy. Yeah, yeah, yeah it would have been Chris, yeah, yeah who um, yeah, he loves his bands. He's he? a so legend, he's, he's, he's into all his stuff, and he, he connects on a lot of people. It's a good lad. How many bands does he know? All of them. He's been that many gigs for us. Like we, uh, he's Manchester, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Chris, and, yeah. Um, night and day, we've done quite a few at the night and day, and he's always there. Um, and just a really good lad. He, like, he'd be like four quid getting. Yeah. Um, and he sticks 20 quid in your hand and tells you to go get a round for the lads and what have you. No need for that, you know what I mean? Mm. We don't ask for that. and It's just just brilliant to have people like that come to your gigs and, and link you up with people like yourself. And yeah. yeah, it's great. And that's the beauty of social media, isn't it? Yeah, it's you a small so world, isn't friends. it? Now you can, uh, you can, there's never an issue of getting you, yourself heard and getting yourself out there. There's all the tools are there, I suppose, now, which is amazing. So while we're talking of social media... Let's have your social media, official uh, Lazy Eye on Twitter. Yeah, facebook.com forward slash Lazy Eye Online is the Facebook page, and it's at uh, official Lazy Eye on Twitter. And how busy are you? Very busy, yeah. And how responsive? You are the most responsive <laughs> artist that I have ever linked up with on the media. Yeah. You are on the money all the time. I post something up, bang, Scott Powell, bang, Scott Powell, he's back on it, Lazy Eye's back on it. You work harder than anybody I've ever known, mate. It's nearly got me the sack a few times. I was under the <laughs> desk at work, just uh, hot on it. Yeah, I think you've yeah. got me. I mean, at the end of the day, it's called social media, so it's it is. being social. If someone said yeah. hello to you and you didn't say hello back, you'd think, what an arsehole, wouldn't you, really? So, I think a lot um, of people actually don't get the idea of that social side of it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And when I was linking up with uh, Louise, uh, how gorgeous is Louise, by the way? Absolutely. <laughs> uh, she's got lovely eyes, isn't she? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Super. Yeah, I just thought I'd get that in. A proper Shame it's radio, looker, mate. Right? <laughs> is she as good looking as Katie Jones? And did you ever bloody find her? Did I find Katie Jones? Yeah, yeah. I mean, Where Katie was she? Jones, uh, when I got away. <laughs> yeah. She wasn't in Liverpool or Manchester though. She's just from Stoke. <laughs> tell me about Katie Jones and tell me about that because that is the first record that you've released on our Spectra album, Spectra label. Yeah. You've an EP coming out on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First thing tomorrow. That's the name of it. Not okay. Tomorrow. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, Katie Jones. She's just. A, Girl from Stoke, I suppose lads write songs about girls, they always have done, yeah. Maggie Sue and Maggie May and what have you. Is she a real girl though, Katie Jones? Yeah, yeah, yeah she's real, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Much real embarrassment, I think, sometimes. Okay. She comes to the gigs and... Um, Does she really? Yeah, 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 we're friends. Um, and uh, she always, like, <laughs> shies away whenever we get to the Katie Jones number, because she doesn't want me to pick her out or mention anything, which is funny. <laughs> okay. Now, one of the first tracks that, that I heard of you was uh, Kill It Ooh. Kill It Ooh, yeah. That's a tune. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Where did that come from? Um, my mum's favourite chocolate bar was old Jamaica chocolate. Um, and I always write, I'm very lyrical in writing. So, yeah. Um, it, I, I'll often get a line and then everything will follow on from that. Mm-hmm. And I got that line and everything followed from that. And I don't know, it just, I always seem to write best after a night out. The next morning, on the end of my bed, yeah, 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 and a bit off cut, and that was just another one of them. Really, I've had, I'd had it for, I'd had it for years. So I've been in bands, four years since mm-hmm. I was seventeen, um, and always written. And kind of lazy, I was, uh, my chance to put a lot of these songs yeah. that, for one reason or another, never seen the light of day out there. And that was just one that one out of loads of songs that get written. I thought that's a decent one. Every time I play, you, you can kind of get a general. A good feel of whether something's decent or not when you played it enough times. That's quality, mate. When Trust people's me. heads pick up or not, and I suppose the batch of songs that we've released so far are all them from the back catalogue. Where over time, I can tell that people respond to them when they hear them. Is that on your EP? Yeah, that's on first thing tomorrow. That is. That's, okay, uh, that's on there. Yeah. Would you say that's your most tuneful song to date? Most tuneful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. It, but, um, it's it, very acoustic-based stuff, so it's all kind of. Um, written on an acoustic guitar and then the band okay. kind of meld round that so yeah it's all quite tuneful melodies I love but you know that worm inside your ear yeah that one that dances yeah 
That is doing the tango, I'm telling you. Yeah. To kill it, ooh. Thank you. That is immense. Cheers. Where did the name Lazy Eye come from? Tell me about that. That one doesn't work. Does it not? No. Oh, <laughs> right. on my left eye, so uh, it's, uh, you'll notice it more when I've had a few more beers, it kind of slopes. So it's always been, um, I don't know, I suppose when I was younger, I was yeah. conscious of it. And I think when I started Lazy Eye, it was kind of like what's and all kind of thing. Like, okay. I'm not going to be a bass player on the side and I'm not going to be... Uh, in partnership writing songs anymore this is me so yeah. that, that's me so I, I like the ring of it and I think there's a lot of I started just on my own and there's so many people that go out as I'm um, such and such like a name so you mm-hmm. know what I mean? whatever um, Jake Bug say yeah 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 massive amazing love him but Jake Bug lad who plays acoustic guitar and there's millions of them isn't there? yeah. so I didn't want to be another one of them so I thought Lazy Eye could be kind of like a stage name or a brand name as opposed to just calling myself Scott Powell which yeah. is, I thought was a bit dull so, I think yeah. it's a great name. Thank you. Cheers, mate. It's a very striking name as well, and I didn't yeah. realise it was such a personal name. <laughs> yeah, I like having something to say about it. I think um, I heard somebody say the other day that every band name in the world is awful until you're famous or until you're successful, yeah. which is probably true. Um, and naming bands in the past is always a nightmare. Everybody, you can always find some reason to not go with a suggestion. Oh, God, oh. So at some point, you just have to go, right, we're going for that. In yeah. a past life, I used to work in a nightclub. Okay. In Birmingham, and um, one of my jobs, I used to go down to all the. They used to be called boutiques in the old days. Right. You know, it's a lot of retail outlets now, aren't they? And there was a band that was playing at Faces uh, called Frankie Goes to Hollywood. Right. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah and go. I remember talking to the one lad, and I says, "With a name like that, they'll never make it." <laughs> well, there we go. Within yeah. two weeks, Relax was number one straight in number one of the pro. Like I say, man, I think. Um, you can find a reason, you can always find a reason not to go with any suggestion. Yeah. And that will have been true for every band you've ever heard of. So at some point you just have to put your flag in the ground and go out again with that. Um, and kind of luckily for me, when I made the decision to go with Lazy Eye, it was just me. I didn't have anybody to answer to really, whereas now it's, it's a proper band now. You know what I mean? We all pitch in, we all um, democratically decide on what we do, I suppose. Well, they all have their input. Yeah. And then you decide what you're going to do. No, no, I get, I get told no, yeah. Scott, we're not doing that plenty oh, right, of times, okay. and often for good reason. Yeah. Yeah, nobody's perfect, I don't claim to be. <laughs> so let's have a name check while we're talking names to yeah. the other guys in the band. I notice you've got a left handed guitar player. I love left handed people, they're geniuses usually. Yeah, right with that one, but not much else. Do you really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're ambidextrous then? Uh, yeah, I suppose so, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. But the lad that plays, uh, not the rhythm guitar, your lead guitar, the lead guitar is James left handed, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Corbs. So Corbs was the first out of the three that I met. He messaged me again on Facebook yeah. saying, after I'd put Killer Roo out, saying, Have you got a guitarist? Have you got a band? Mm-hmm. Um, and I hadn't. And I kind of knew at that point I wasn't gigging, I was just going in the studio recording stuff and putting it out. Yeah. Um, uh, and so he said, Do you want a jam? And we had a jam. Got on like an house on fire, and he knew Josh, and then we advertised for a drummer, and through coincidence, they both knew Luke, even though we applied for the. Yeah, sure. They had. Aside from that, and so yeah, it's worked out really nice. It's grown naturally, which is cool. So, as a four piece, how long have you been together? About eighteen months now. Oh, I think. Okay. Yeah. And Stoke on Trent, what's it like to gig? There's a number of bands <laughs> out there. I'm loving Exo Waves. They're a young band from Stoke on Trent. Yeah, well. Zach, Zach PK doing really well. Yeah. Um, Adam Atkinson, good lads. I know. Them. So again, they're lads who've been in previous bands. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Gigged in on the circuit with them in previous bands before, and. Um, yeah, it's cool. They're, they're good lads. And a couple of weeks ago, I did notice on your uh, social media accounts that Lazy Eye had won a competition uh, we in won, Staffordshire. Uh, way. Yeah, Staffordshire and Cheshire held the first um, music awards night for the area. Yeah. So we've never had it an awards night where what brought all the scene together and brought mm-hmm. all the bands and artists together. Um, and a, a really, a really good lad named uh, Lee Barber organised the first Staffordshire and Cheshire music awards night. Uh, and we won, we won best band, which was really cool. Um, it was like an online poll for voting. Yeah. Um, so again, social media, like I say, it's really good to see a lot of people who we've met and and gigged with um, over the years mm-hmm. come out and support us by voting for us. And yeah, we won, we won best band, which was great, really cool. But Stoke must be in a decent kind of area, really, because just north of Stoke, you've got Manchester. Yeah, and Manchester is a massively kicking indie type of, of of city if you like uh, my mate's Puppet Rebellion are 
uh, from Pocket Manchester. Rebellion, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And Craig and I, when we get together, we're always arguing the toss out of who's the second city. <laughs> Manchester and Birmingham, and at the minute, is winning. Right. And we want to, we want it Claw back. It back we wanna, yeah. We're going to bring it back to the actress and Bishop here in Birmingham. We're going <laughs> to tonight. T- yeah, we're well, going to, we're going to take that mantle back. But in Stoke, if you go south, you come to Birmingham and Wolverhampton and the Black Country. You go north, you go Manchester. So we're geographically, about an hour from, you're good. We're an hour from position. anywhere, really, aren't we? Yeah, yeah which is really cool. Um, Stoke's quite small, I suppose, in terms of um, clubs and yeah. um, not support and not love for music. People, people in Stoke really love love the music. Mm-hmm. Um, promotion wise, in Stoke's a nightmare. Um, in so what way? Have, well, so, like, there's two large venues. Uh, the Sugar Mill. The Sugar Mill's yeah. one, and then one bigger than that's the Victoria Hall. So, I mean, we've had, like, um, Weller, UB40, them, that's kind yeah, of a yeah, yeah. size act. C- Cortina's played a gig there not long ago, mm-hmm. uh, which was a big thing. Another Stoke. Manchester band. Yeah, there you go. Um, so, we're just, we're just that too small a city to attract, do you know what I mean? Your, yeah. Your, your headline acts, I suppose, that, that are... On your radio ones and on your on your, your big big mainstream radio stations, mm-hmm. um, but whenever whenever they do come to town, they come out and support them in droves. So it's just just a numbers game, like I say. This yeah. whole thing's a numbers game. Um, How about your football clubs and your radio stations? How do they support the local talent there in Stoke? Uh, Stoke, uh, I suppose. Um, I've had stuff played at half time at Stoke and on the on the. How do you get involved panel. with that? It's just who you know. So I, yeah, having contacts at. The stations and the, the clubs. So BBC Radio Stoke are really good for supporting the, the mm-hmm. local scene. Uh, Signal not so much. They're, they're hard work to get into. But they're um, commercial radio, aren't they? Exactly. Yeah. yeah it's totally so different. Trying try to get even for things that, that they should be getting involved with. Because at the end of the day, they're part of the community. You know I don't I mean? think they care if I'm honest. Well, that's that's, that's my opinion. That's for commercial what radio. What we've come to find. Yeah. And I've found for years. So who's doing the BBC introducing up there in, uh, in Staffordshire? Uh, a guy called Rob Adcock. Um, yeah. Who won a lifetime achievement award at that um, at that awards do okay. that we were at? Yeah, really good lad. Again, he's known us since um, way back when. So we had me in on Radio Stoke mm-hmm. in the very first band when I was seventeen. You yeah. Know what I mean, and ten years later, he's still playing the records. What now. was the name of the band, by the way? Uh, Step in Lane. That was like, okay. Uh, so it was it was half originals and half covers. So we'd go around doing pubs and clubs. And yeah. When I was seventeen, eighteen, I was travelling the country doing like Butlins and Haven holiday parks, playing Beatles, in bed. Kinks, Rolling Stones, all that kind of stuff. And yeah. Redcoats. Red coats, yeah. <laughs> yeah, a few stories. Yeah, yeah come on, let's have a few. Uh, maybe, maybe another time. <laughs> but that's where you learn your trade, isn't it? Yeah, and, definitely. Yeah. You know, the easy way that a lot of the kids these days they look at the likes of the voice and the X Factor and they think, oh god, all you need to do is get on a stage, oh, hey, yeah. get four kind so of much. buttons and stuff, and yeah. you're off and running with a massive label and you're going to earn millions and millions of pounds. It's all bullshit, isn't it? Yeah, I think they're. Um, I think they they bugger from the start. People that go on, then they sign things that say they can't release music for so long under under any other guys. They sign yeah. things that. Um, what I've seen, I found, having spoke to people who've been through the process and, and even met people who've done quite well in the process, mm-hmm. is that from from doing well in it, you get the lifestyle, but yeah. you don't get much else. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know what I mean, so you get you get to be a well known artist and yeah, you, you get to travel and you get to do big gigs and things like that if you do well but you never see any money off it the, no. money, the money's made by all the people who put you there and, mm. and rightly so because at the end of the day you should, I don't think you deserve any money for winning a, a game show basically which mm. is what it is um, a karaoke game a show karaoke, as well yeah, a karaoke mm. game show I think um, once or twice early on was fine but ten years of it's a joke really. I find it very <laughs> difficult well I mean actually I don't watch it but no. I do find it very difficult to judge Somebody as a singer when they're singing somebody else's songs, because to me the talent is in writing your own material and then you perform that material, you release no, that material, no and I either like it or I don't. I can't see how there can be any connection between no. somebody singing something else that someone's written for them. And if there's no connection, what's the point? What, what, yes, yeah. what are you? You know, what I mean, is <laughs> what you're saying. You're not. You're not. You're not saying anything. You're not. It's, it's not, nothing it's not to you. Say, is that? It's not you. Yeah. You know what I mean. You're you're mm. you're, you're an actor essentially, not a, not a singer. You're, yeah. you're playing somebody else's part. Um, but I mean, it's all opinions. At the end of the day, they, they still sell out massive arenas and things. So yeah, because they get the media behind them and they tell them that they're playing there and 
It's almost yeah. a kind of indoctrination and a brainwashing of people to like and the, love the and big sad support. In, the it. big saddening thing of it is so much time and money and resources and, and airspace and all the rest of it. Correct. Go to that. Yeah. When there's so there's so much talent out there that 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 work ridiculously hard and have done for years Tell and me years, about and it. years um, that that don't see the light of day and yeah. it. They're writing just as good as stuff. Better. They, they, they do, they're doing it themselves, mm. you know what I mean? They, they know the trade. They aren't, they aren't having to um, be coached through it. They've learned the trade through years of doing it. And, and instead of people like that being given a chance, um, it's easier for the labels and, yeah, the, it is. and the, the media sales world to go, well, they're on telly on Saturday night in front mm. of 20 million people, so we'll give them a record deal because they'll probably have a bit more coverage than this band from wherever. You know what yeah. I mean? um, so in that sense... It's a shambles, really. Well, there we go. <laughs> Break me a block of old Jamaica. Cancel my date with the undertaker. Sha la 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 la. And take out the batteries, unplug the clocks, unplug the phone and tape up the letterbox. Sha la 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 la. Pass me the baby sham, put on some super tramp. Ooh, it's a killer, ooh, we really killed the mood. And then my baby smiled and picked me right back up again. Sha la 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 la. Attitude, I need my baby to pick me right back up again. I'm calling the dock up here, make it right. I'll do the jailhouse rocking here with you tonight. And you with your hearties, bottle of red. Boomtown Barbie set the tone when he dressed for bed. Pass me the baby shampoo, put on some super trout. The was a killer, ooh, we really killed the mood. And then my baby smiled and picked me right back up again. Sha la 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 la. He really killed the mood, he had an attitude. I need my baby to pick me right back up again. Sun shines through cracks in the curtains over you drinking baby sham and listening to soup trying to was a killer ooh we really killed the mood and then my baby smiled and picked me right back up again Sha la 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 He really killed the mood he had an attitude I need my baby to pick me right back up again Got future kind of festivals because we're now April. Yeah, this will probably be aired 
uh, if Mrs. Brown gets his act together. <laughs> How is Chris? Is he good? Yeah, he's good, yeah. He's still a moaning old bastard, but you know, that's the way he is. <laughs> Mind you, he has something to moan about, he works with me. <laughs> but probably within 10 days, so we're almost into May. Yeah. And then really the festival season starts to kick down it into June, July, and yeah. August. Yeah, well, we're out every weekend now, so we're still weekend warriors, we still, we still work jobs. You yeah. know what I mean? So, two lads are tradesmen and. Josh's a foreman. I sell mortgages. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So yeah. we, we all have to, we all have to graft. Well, that's the real world in the week, and then yeah. So we're out every weekend um, for the next two months. Um, we got a good gig with the Blue Tones next weekend. That's a local Tell me about it. Stoke. That's just a really good one. We're really looking forward to it. Um, we played with Mark Morris from the Blue Tones last year in Stoke. Um, You've got just, to say, Mark's him. here at the actress and Bishop. I've seen Louise, yeah. what's the date that Mark's on? We've got Mark Morris from the Blue Tones, yeah, because um, Lazy Eye are with him uh, next week. 10th of June. 10th of June. Are you here again? No, Mark is. Oh. No, we're playing with the Blue Tones yeah. on um, Friday. Week so today. make sure week you today. talk up. Talk up. You know, <laughs> talk up this place, actress and bishop. Absolutely, yeah. Mark. Great. Because the Blue Tones are doing some great stuff as well, ain't they? I don't know. I, I tell you what, Ocean we can't get over... gigging with as well, aren't they? Yeah, we can't get over how, um, how they the following stuck really yeah. you know, I mean you're talking probably 20, 20 25 years since mm-hmm. they, they were in a mainstream big band uh, do you feel as though it's coming back though there seems to be just so many it never, guitar- goes, away. It never goes away I know it does that's, you know yeah, that, that's, that, that's what it that's what changes There's, there'll never ever be a shortage of lads with guitars writing mm-hmm. songs and bands and and, and but there's Benny's one or two breaking story. through now, Scott, isn't there? You know, the Sherlocks are breaking through. They're getting yeah, play on Radio One. Yeah, a few times. Yeah. Great lads again. Um, mm. Pretty vicious from Wales. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant lads. Um, we've met them once this year, and we're not gig with them yet. But just, there'll never be a shortage of it. And I think it comes in cycles. What yeah, it, is, it is, is people, kids don't want to be associated with whatever the mum and dad listen to. Mm. So, <laughs> so like if. Your mum and dad oh, right, are playing. So blind me then. No, blind no, 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 it's just a cycle, so it comes back round. So, <laughs> yeah. so any 15, 16 year olds now don't want to be associated with whatever the mum and dad were listening to yeah. 10 years ago. Um, so they look for something else and something new. And if the new, fresh thing is guitar bands, then it comes back. Yeah. So you, you, you just have to bide your time and, and hope you, you hit the right point and the right sound at the right time. Will you hit me? all the notes? Because I think you're absolutely fantastic. Cheers. And then. have you got Thank any you. festivals lined up? Yeah, so we've got um, Limelight Festival, we're headlining that. Uh, that's first bank holiday weekend in May. Where's that at? Uh, that's in Newcastle, um, Stoke, Newcastle. Yeah. Um, underline. Yeah, underline, yeah. that's us. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, we've got a few. Smithfield Road in Liverpool, uh, Rock and Bowl in Market Drayton, we've got that, that's a good one. Um, all our applications are in, we're just waiting for way back, I've quite a few. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, uh, all Sage Music Fest run at that. So yeah, we're trying to be as busy as we can. Yeah. Again, it's that um, thing of when it's just you. There's only so much you can do. So I mean, I've sat and I must have sent 300 emails off in January, yeah. February, March, um, and you just do as much as you can, really, as much what comes in. Who cut your video, by the way, Case Jones? Great video. Uh, Luca, Luca from Manchester. Um, he's a, I think he was a student when I met him, um, mm-hmm. and he's now got a. A company called People Staring. He makes okay. He makes videos for all sorts of different things, um, and he's done quite a few for me. Um, Heartbeat Now, an early trunk single that we had. He did a video for that. Get get get. He did a video for that for us. He's just a really sound lad. He always gets. I always go to him with an idea, saying like, "This is what we're looking to do," and he always gets it, and um, for a decent price as well. <laughs> well, <laughs> which is important. Competitive. <laughs> competitive. Mind yeah. you, with Katie Jones, Bird Train, London, Manchester, and Liverpool. Yeah. One hard to work out a video for that was no, it, Scott? it wasn't. In fact, if we had a bigger budget, we could have done a better one. But there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Can I thank you, young man, for your time? Thank you for playing us and for, for all your help and, and everything that you do for us, mate. It's well, really you know us, we absolutely love it. You know, we we love the artists. Thank you. It annoys me that you don't get more airplay, but I think (laughs) together we all can make a difference, and I think that's what we need to do. We need to join together. We're creating a scene, and I think with Northern Exposure and SRB Radio, things are happening. I feel as though this underground movement is going to go overground, and we're going to take our music back. Give the music back to the people. Are you shouts loud as gets weird? Because Hopefully. Best, best Hopefully. Well, I've got a big gob. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Sometimes. I'd go to 
to Liverpool tomorrow If you said you'd meet me at the docks I'd set my clocks and I'll be up early I'll catch a train I'll sleep against the window pane tomorrow Or tomorrow I'll be gone And I'd go to Manchester tomorrow If you'd meet me in the Trafford Centre I'll be there in plenty of time Oh, I, you'll be mine tomorrow Or tomorrow you'll be mine And I don't want standing ovations I'd settle for a little reciprocation Katie Jones, don't you tell me why you knock me back each time I try to entertain you and I just want to take you home I'd go to London tomorrow If you'd meet me in Trafalgar Square I'll be there in plenty of time And oh, I, you'll be mine tomorrow Or tomorrow you'll be mine And I don't want standing ovations I'd settle for a little reciprocation Katie Jones, don't you tell me why You knock me back each time I try To entertain you And I just want to take you Come on, Katie, give me a smile Carol King and Carly Simon Couldn't sing the song as sweet as I can Got you on my arm, I'll take you to the place that I love As much as you, girl, and I do, girl I want to take you home 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 I want to take you Cheers, Scott. Top man. Thanks, Thank Max. No worries. Right, over to you, Rage. Your pick of the week, mate. And good night. God bless. And thanks for listening. Good night, Sarah. Hi. Hi. Ta da. Thank you for that, Gabby. It's Rachel Brown here from Northern Exposure. I've got two tracks for you this week. Winners of the All About the Music competition, The Haze, with Am I the Only One? And Sheffield based band Sabella with The Calling. <laughs>